Okay, what is going on, guys? Took my pink here today. Jaeger has fucked me over again. They've banned me. If you guys have been with the channel for a long time, they removed my partnership a long time ago because I made a joke on Reddit. It was the most upvoted post on their Reddit that I said the Shattergun hits harder than my dad. Well, today, they fucked me over royally and banned me, and you will not believe why. So, I'm going to show you guys all the proof. I'm going to let you guys be based yourself. You guys, let, you guys hear me say the word base a lot. I'm sorry. I'm looking at my channel instead of the camera because the camera's up high. But being based just means you're going to make your own opinion. So I've gathered all the proof. And I've tried to show everyone in the, the best light possible. So you guys can articulate and form your own opinion on what happened here. So we have a little bit of a script here. I have a script in front of me. And I'm kind of going to go a little bit off it. But the big issue that happened today was when I logged in there was this tweet or when i got on today there was this tweet so i have my little script here and um this tweet says hey prospectors here's a quick update on our current leaderboard for our ongoing creator competition this creators seem dead set on getting their hands on big prizes so you'll see there's actually no numbers with any of these creators and for some reason i am not on this list at all super super weird so if you guys don't know about the creator contest we'll talk more about it i'll explain everything about it here soon now while we're still on this video, I do not want any of you guys to take any hate towards the developers of Jaeger. I don't want you to take this to the Discord. No, like the developers had no part to do with this. This only had to do with the content creation managers. And I don't want you to go hate on them either. Uh, I'm just giving you guys the facts as of exactly what happened and what's going to happen going forward. So basically, this creator contest giving out a $5,000 computer and a 4070 Ti. Now, I was demolishing the numbers for this contest so hard which I, I do conform to all the rules and stipulations. I'll show you guys later. I was dominating this competition so hard that a member of Jaeger actually showed me the statistics um, around like 10 days in to uh, season three. So it was based on when season three started and it was basically impossible for anyone to ever catch up to me. So I have the numbers right here. This is the cycle frontier category over the last 30 days. Here's the watch time, the average viewers. It is impossible. I'm doubling Tsunami's numbers. That's with a dedicated drop day, right? If we aggregate this against any single objective, I will be number one. Three days, number one. Seven days, number one. 14 days, number one. 30 days for the contest, number one. 90 days. Keep in mind, I didn't stream for months on end here, guys. But you'll see that the stream time is going to go vastly down, right? Number one, 180 days. Like, I didn't stream from October till what february what is that like three months didn't even fucking stream guys number one across 180 days i have been the number one creator on twitch for this game for quite a long time basically since like a month in on twitch after i got unbanned on twitch um which was a wrongful ban everyone knows about the whole the whole incident that was so stupid but anyways there is the twitch number so there's a a, a youtube category and a twitch category so i just showed you guys the twitch numbers miraculously i am not on this list right very on what about the youtube list you know many of you probably found my content through youtube i pump out a lot of content on youtube i try and be as helpful as possible well we have some kind of dog in number one i have gone ahead and added up all of his videos from the start of when the um the competition started so at the very very end of march march 29th and you can go down to the exact german time if you will but he has a total of 109,000. We just add this up and i actually rounded these up and i even added in videos that weren't even cycle frontier related now obviously these don't count towards the competition um i've added up my own hours here and i rounded them down as well we have no other videos that are not from anything else other than um the cycle frontier so we have 244,000, and this competition also includes the fact that past video views getting views also garners you more views so my channel has actually gotten around more like 600,000 views which i could show you as well and dogs is not because i make like evergreen content like setting guides um you know day one videos things like that that people watched again when the game wiped but this is just the cold hard facts that they try and catch me on some sort of like uh well it's actually for things posted after march these are the exact numbers so you guys know and you can go add them up yourself i implore you guys to do it you can go add them up yourselves Make your own opinions. This is uh, solely numb. This is the exact website, the Scraticus, Adam Jaeger Dev on Twitter. This is the exact website he uses to determine these things. So, um, yeah, I'm not pulling the, uh, the sheets over your eyes, whatever the saying is. But this is the Season 3 Creator Contest. Now, here's where things become an issue. They just decided to remove me. And today, I tried to figure out, why did you guys remove me? I don't understand. I didn't break any of your rules. Nothing, right? It's not exclusive to partners or Batman's Finance or anything like that. So uh, you guys are probably trying to like reason and be logical here. I know we live in 2023 where things are often done on how people feel and not on logic or reasoning. 
but you we're all trying to figure out what actually happened why was i removed certainly he's not telling us something and that's what i believe today i must have done something that kicked me out of this program I, you know, if you've watched my live stream you know that i'm terminally honest and i'm kind of a fucking asshole man i just I, I speak my mind all the time and sometimes i have hot takes and bad fucking takes i'm just kind of a dickhead right so i'm like okay certainly i must have done something wrong to get kicked out of this um this competition as you can see it's being posted by Aegon aoc this isn't coming from jaeger this is a third party company and i could go on and on and on if you guys you know i used to own a pc building company and it went insolvent because of all the issues during covid with supply chain issues and via trying to win over the um stock share tons 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 of issues it mine went insolvent so they have Aegon aoc paying for all of this stuff and they've completely demolished their own contest it's based on feelings not on statistics so today i went to discord to um well, to talk to a higher up, I try and speak to Straticus. He's the content creation manager, the Jaeger dev, the guy I mentioned earlier. And um, he, he refuses to respond to me. So I try to get a hold of Rick Decker. So if you don't know, Rick Decker, where is he? He even has his title in here. He's the executive producer on the Cyber Frontier. He's the fucking head honcho. He also watches my videos. A lot of things that I bitch about get changed in the cycle because Rick watches the videos. He hops in my stream from time to time. He's a really, really great guy. So I went ahead and tried to contact Rick Deckard. And why? So why do I need to join the official Psycho Frontier Discord? Well, many of you may not know this. And let me see. I just got to pull up my Discord here for all of you guys here. Um, here I have uh, just a bunch of random shit for this video pulled up over here. But I get spammed out really hard. So I'm at the friends list cap. I'm at the Discord server cap. You'll see some of the, these have like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Discord servers in them. And my DMs get flooded out so much to the point that Discord automatically just starts wiping out DMs. And last time I talked to Rick was probably about three weeks ago. I, it's no longer my DMs. I cannot contact him. Okay. So I'm at the friends list cab. I don't have him as a friend. The only way for me to contact him is to go into a server that we share. So the Psycho Frontier Discord and ping him. Right. So uh, that's how I get his attention. So I, not how I get his attention. So I can ping him and then I can pull up a DM list right there and then send him a message. So I go in and I ping him. Uh, I said, gotta get my man Deckard real quick at Rick Deckard, right? So I can message him and say, what's going on here, man? You'll see this is uh, his personal account. It's it doesn't if you go look at it right now on the Cycle Frontier um, Discord. This is his personal account. It's not even tagged as a developer account. I, I just knew about it. No one knows about this guy, by the way. And probably the first time any of you guys have ever heard of him. I just went ahead to go and get in contact and say, hey, what's going on here? Because I can't get a hold of content creation manager. I can never can. I mean, uh, we're talking like months and months and months. He's probably sent me two messages ever. His full time job is to respond to content creators. Motherfucker, I'm the biggest content creator on your game. He cannot respond to me. I, I've known this guy for two years. I've gotten like two fucking responses from this guy. So I'm trying to get a hold of Rick Deckard here. Um, one of their mods, you know, power trip and discord mods is what it is. Please refrain from pinging developers for no reason. OK, so they're aware that um, this isn't necessarily even a developer they don't really necessarily develop the, the game right like i said they're the what the creative executive producer on the cycle frontier right whatever whatever his official title is i'll say oh don't worry there's a very good reason and justin a community manager says uh, that's not how it works pink and um uh, justin if you remember you probably saw the video i have a link in top right of uh how they took my partnership away with the whole shatter gun incident um i've always had weird interactions with this guy to the point where he tries to contact me on his personal accounts and stuff like that and uh how he's begged me to like never be in a video and i like i don't know what is going on with that guy but he has a vendetta against me and um after that they banned me from the cycle frontier because i pinged a developer now this isn't in the the rules in the discord or anything like that uh, they just wanted to ban me because i was trying to figure out what was going on they were trying to fucking silence me about this contest you'll see also in the um in the tweet here people are giving it to jaeger on all of these tweets there's tons of threads going on right now everyone's talking about it in the official cycle frontier discord it is the hot topic right now everyone stream not my stream everyone stream is talking about what the fuck happened with this contest and why is my name not on this board um everyone is fucking pissed off and uh it's not about me getting uh rewards and i'm mad i was gonna give these rewards to you guys so you guys know i'm giving away a 4070 ti and the computer to you guys now i'm gonna make this fucking right jaeger might deal with feelings and emotions i deal with logic and fucking reasoning here's my fucking logic guys you want to hear it i promised you guys i would give you this computer right i promised you guys i would give you this graphics card right jaeger may have fucked me over it just took me out of the competition because they felt like it uh, I, they identified as not liking Tickle Me Pink on this day, and they just took me out of the contest for that reason, right? 
but I told you guys, you guys would get it. So I'll pay for it out of my own fucking pocket. I'll be out eight grand. I'll, I'll be a net loss for streaming for I don't know how long. And I will fucking pay for it and still give this to you guys. Okay? You guys are still going to get this giveaway no matter if Jaeger fucked me over. I'll pay for it out of my pocket, guys. Now, we have a little bit of a scripting. Let me resume where we were going here. Um, this isn't the first time they fucked over creators. They fucked over tons of creators. We got Corby. Corby uh, streamed a shitload. Guys, he's a grown-ass man. He's a pharmacist. He got an amazing job. He got a promotion. He was a partnered creator. He told them, hey, guys, I, I need to move house. Uh, I relocate for my new position. He got a this is a killer job, guys. This is a killer salary. A lot of us are envious of the salary. If I mention you the number he got, he got a new house and he couldn't stream for three weeks. They said, Oh, you know worries. Your spot is secure. Don't worry. He's been a big creator, a big streamer. He doesn't do YouTube, just a big streamer for a long time. Said your spot is secured. And they went ahead and just kicked him out because he had to move for an actual real life position. You'll see someone did a video on this guy taking the, uh, the piss out of him later. Uh, he took a piss out of another creator. Frantic got shit on by the developers. Yeah, he got kicked out of the program because he didn't stream for like three weeks. Guys, being a streamer is cool. I don't want to say being a streamer is fucking hard. I sit on my ass and I play video games. I can't speak for every other content creators. But playing the same game 12 hours a day, all day, it does have its drawbacks. Frantic took like a two-week, three-week uh, break. And I think he had logical reasons for it. And he gave him a warning just like Corby. I don't know. He did a video on it on his channel if you want to check it out. They fucked him over the exact same way. Guys, the list goes on. Flakes. Minda, Hex Fiber, Kinky, Lost Oracle, Alley Cat, Markstrom, Spud Hunter, Luki, Afflict. These are all massive content creators that you used to see. Chap, massive con content creators you used to see all the time. They have fucked these guys over so hard, burned them so bad. Guys, these are content creators that devote all of their time to streaming their game. You know, content creators make fucking games. I'm not saying that because I'm a content creator. Look at GTARP. It's not even a game, it's a fucking terrible mod. And content creators carry that. And it's so popular now. These are creators who have done so much for the game. And are constantly looking out for the game. And they get treated like shit. Imagine getting kicked out because you got a new job. You got your dream job and you're moving house. That is a big moment. If any of you guys have purchased a house in chat, that is a big fuck moment. I'm sure many of you have moved a long ways. It's hard. You have to completely rebuild a stream set. It's not as easy as just setting up a single PC. They continue to fuck these creators over. Uh, speaking of my own um, creator journey, guys, I've bought over 250,000 Orem. I have bought every single pack in the game. That's thousands and thousands of dollars. It's a running joke that I funded the anti-cheat for the cycle frontier, right? I've been the, one of their number one creators since closed beta one, pumping out, handing out keys for the game, pumping out content, YouTube, Twitch, everything. I have the number one Discord. It competes with the official Discord, guys. The official Discord in the game. There's a fucking thing in game that just takes you to their official Discord. The only reason why my Discord is as successful as it is is because the official Discord is that bad. Like the disconnect, the disconnection, I guess, between the community managers and what's going on in the Discord, it's just not there. There's there's no other game where a random fucking YouTuber competes with the official Discord for the game. This does not happen, okay? Now I've gone ahead and contacted Aegon AOC, the people that uh, you know, putting on this contest. Maybe we'll, we'll come to terms with them. Maybe they will, um, you know, honor it and send me a computer and graphics card and I'll, I'll give it out to you guys. If not, I've told them, I sent them out a tweet that I would pay for it out of pocket. I'll contact them. My, or, uh, I'll pay for it myself. We'll, we'll have a giveaway. And that is that. You'll see that uh, I try to reach out to them here. I'll have this link down below if you want to like and retweet and engage with it. And maybe um, they'll, they're willing to work with us. I don't know. I don't think they'll be willing to work with Yeah, you're again after they've completely... I mean, Aegon's just going out of their way. To, they they want to grow as a brand, right? You haven't even heard their name before. They're putting on this creator contest. I'm the only person that's actually gone out of my way and told you about these guys. Told you to, you know, hey, go get your computer. If you want to pre-built, here's the US link. Here's the EU link. I'm going out of my way so they can make money back, right? They, they might be a company that might be able to get this um, for less than you and me can get it. But this is still a lost leader. And they're trying to get something back at, uh, at one point, right? Uh, but Cycle has not promoted them at all no one even knows that they're the ones putting this on right most creators don't even know this there's probably 10 people prior to making this video the new Aegon AOC or had heard about me talking about it on stream that they were sponsoring this guys they're just losing money on this deal they're getting fucked over they go ahead and they say okay Jaeger you guys can have this contest all right um but then Jaeger shits on it right they, they make their contest about how they make them how, they, how people make them feel right and I'm stuttering because I'm rambling a little bit 
I don't have like a script to read from you guys. I like to just be keep it authentic, keep it real. But um, this is just bullshit, guys. I mean, this is how it's based on feelings. And that's just how their content creation manager works. They don't have any logical reasons. For an example, going back to my partnership, I'm the largest creator. Not having a partnership has a quantifiable loss to it, a large lump sum of cash and the amount of viewers that would come in from it, right? Um, they have no logical reason to not partner me. It's just how they feel. They, they wake up and they're like, I feel like Tickle Me Pink kind of makes my pussy itch today. That's what goes on in a content creation manager. I mean, guys, as they continue to fuck over all your content creators, and where does this go? These content creators getting fucked over, they're the ones carrying the game, right? You know how much it fucking costs when Shroud comes and streams this fucking game for two hours? Guys, let's break something down. Shroud lives in a $10 million house, okay? How much do you think two hours of Shroud's time is worth? Any of you guys have had to qualify for a mortgage? You know what your, your yearly income needs to be like to qualify for a $10 million house? It's fucking insane. You know what's giving you a mortgage for that, right? You, the amount of assets you need to own, you have hundreds of millions of dollars of assets. They have to pay all these large creators to come in to the game when they fuck them over. I'm not gonna put people's names out here because these are big, big, big creators that stand to lose a lot of money if I'm gonna mention this video because Cycle, you know, they operate on emotions. If I mention their names, they're gonna say, we're not gonna give them a contract anymore. But these big, big streamers, they just come and they want to come here for these fat contracts. They hate the cycle and they have the, they've expressed the exact same opinions about particularly the content creation managers and how they handle the drops campaign. It just makes an entire joke out of it, right? It's super, super bad. So, um, we haven't figured out why was I removed from this? So the DM, I was going to discord, but then people started going there for me because I was banned. Like I showed you guys, right? Well, they're pretending like I never applied. So we're going to apply on live stream because I've applied plenty of times, right? And then this goes on. I mean, you have... Uh, this is a, this is a actual creator who's part of their partner program. Claymore Plays. He takes he took the shot of Corby, the guy who um, got a job, had to move house, made fun of him. Fucking kicked him while he was fucking down about how he, he moved jobs and got his dream job. Kicked him while he was down, made fun of him, made a video of him. He did the exact same thing in the Frantic. And the guy was just taking the whole day to day, take the piss out of me, kick me out, I was down over and over and over again, to the point where he actually was issued a warning. And he completely pretends like um, I'm getting false numbers. I mean, shit, let's just go on Twitch right now. Let's see who's going to be the number one fucking streamer. I don't know. I can never fucking guess. It's not like it's the same fucking person for every fucking day of the fucking year. It's me, motherfucker. It's, it's not even fucking close, dude. Okay, this is this shit is fucking ridiculous. How, how are these numbers fake? This guy got shit on. And then we have an actual community manager saying, from a CM perspective, what Clay said might be valid. And he's responding to this. If his name isn't on the current leaderboard and he's pulling the numbers he's claiming, motherfucker, how am I claiming, bro? We don't operate on feelings. We operate on logic. L read the fucking numbers and weep. I've been sleeping on this goddamn bed behind me in my fucking living room playing this fucking cycle game for like 29 days straight now. <gasps> Speed running mental fucking illness over here, dude. It's, it's insane, right? Hey, we have the prospector's code right here. Don't roast people if they don't like it. Don't push a subject someone they're not comfortable with. You know, I was kicked out for not abiding the prospector's code. And you have creators in here like Claymore, Archaic Demon, who are constantly shitting on creators and playing like this weird Redditor, like moral high ground. They don't follow the prospector's code at all. And if anyone like me, Frantic, someone that will just actually say it as it is, says something like prospector's code, you're banned, right? That's just, that's how it fucking works. And I guess that's kind of how life works. I'm so tired of these dick riders, I man. You, here you have the prospector scored through and through. And I'm sorry this video has been like ranty and rambly. Obviously, I'm a bit in my emotions. I want to be as logical as possible. I'm a bit in my emotions. I'm a bit pissed off that they decide to fuck you guys over. At the end of the day, you guys are the ones that also get fucked over by this. It's just like I'm tired of them walking on every single Psycho Frontier content creator, kicking me in the balls time and time again, kicking other creators in the balls time and time again. There's a reason why every single content creator is leaving the cycle. Um, Realistically, there's just a bunch of creators left who are getting way more numbers than they should be. They're realistically like three to 10 viewer average streamers. That's what they were beforehand. And that's what they will be when the cycle dies afterhand. And the cycle will die. If you if the content creation manager continues to shit on every single creator that comes to this game to the point where they want to leave, this doesn't happen with other companies, guys. When I work with Battlestate Games, when I work with Gearbox, any other company, this is, this is when I work with Crytek. This does not happen. Let me give you an example. I recently was interested in a game called Hunt Showdown. It's a competitor to Cycle Frontier and Escape from Tarkov. It's kind of a, a, a looter shooter in its own way. It's got an, an interesting flair. It's a fun game. Go check it out. Um, my experience was I went and streamed the game. 
uh, for their jobs campaign, uh, I was like uh, like number 10 on the board, right? Their uh, community manager came to my stream, spent 12 hours off the clock helping me understand the game, then linked me with other creators so I could collab with them. I don't know why I just developed a stutter all of a sudden. I don't have a stutter, I promise. I'm just dumb. I have stage four dumb. And then invited me to come play on her stream and then helped me grow in Hunter and also taught me the game. Uh, I've, I've shot her messages, simple messages. She goes out of her way to always help me out. It's just such an awesome community manager. And that's how the general community community manager experience goes. And you look at games like Marauder, another uh, competitor to Cycle. I have the devs come to me like, we love your content. We really enjoy your content. We would like if you played the game. And they appreciate my time. It, it feels good, guys. And uh, it's kind of like dancing around egos. But I'm just giving you guys an example of how these other companies actually operate. I, I, I've worked with a ton of companies at this point. And Jaeger's the only company that does this. Now, Jaeger is not a small indie company. They've been around for like 20 years. They have, what, um, like 90 plus employees. And I wouldn't be surprised after they try and silence me. They banned me on Discord, how they, they try and silence me in the past. They ban you when it says my name in Discord is what I heard last. I'm not sure how accurate that is. I can't see because I'm not in the Discord. But um, I wouldn't be surprised if we, if we have like an issue with like Battle State Games and they try to silence a rock tick and just DMCA take down all of their videos. I've already gone ahead and contacted uh, big content creators like Pestily, Big Fry, and stuff like that. Because when I show you guys this stuff, there is the, the possibility that they'll try and DMCA take down my entire channel. Someone just told me that they read it's 140, 148 employees, actually. So not 90, 148. So I run the risk while giving this information out to you guys. So I don't think that'd be wise for them. That really blew up in Battle State's face really, really poorly when that happened. Um, but based on them silencing me, you know, beforehand, I wouldn't be surprised if they try and take that angle. And so lastly, I'm going to fill out this form. So we're going to fill in Twitch, let us know your channel name. Bam, it's going to be pink. So they can't say I didn't fill out this form because you guys have all now watched me fill out this form live. Now there's some things here like full legal name, country of residence, uh, so on and so forth. I'm going to quickly go on a full-size camera here because obviously i don't want everyone to know my full name is calvert einstein but um we'll enter this all in here because uh i mean gaslit by the community managers i have never submitted this before okay we got that country of residence united states do i accept the term conditions yes all right, you guys can see again. The last, the number seven was uh, your country. The uh, country residence, and there was like my name and address. Uh, I already follow Aegon. I have been. I agree with terms and conditions, and we submit. One question needs to be submitted. Okay, one second, one second. I'm not sure what happened here. Let us know a link to your channel. Oh, we just need a link to our channel. Easy as, man. Easy as. Okay, here we go. And Calbert Einstein, space top G, cycle top G. I don't have my top G glasses on right now. But uh, here, we're going to submit this form. Let's go. We're submitting it live so everyone can see. Thank you for applying. You'll receive an email as soon as you've been accepted. There we go, guys. Um, this is the current state of what's going on. What's going on with my channel? So I love Psycho Frontier. I've been a huge supporter for a long time. Um, guys, more of my audience plays Tarkov. You guys know about 60,000 subscribers of mine came from Tarkov. There's more views to be had for me. Um, the game has much more replayability for me personally. I just love the cycle frontier. The reason why I haven't jumped ship like all these other conquerors is I just simply love the cycle frontier. It's an awesome fucking game. I don't want to leave, but I'm also tired of being treated like shit. This is like Tyler one versus League of Legends right now. Uh, I, time and time again, I keep going out of my way to support the game and do everything I can for the game. And I keep getting shit on by this one guy, this the Straticus guy that's in charge of the content creation program. And I'm just fucking tired of this shit, guys. This uh, something needs to change here. I want to see the cycle succeed. I don't want anyone in the comments being like, I'm not going to buy oil. I'm not going to buy the 14 best. Don't do shit like that. Don't quit playing the game. Be based. I gave you all the information. Make your own opinion. I'm sure there's going to be someone who's going to be the, the exact opposite of base. He's going to be super fucking woke. He's going to be all up in his feelings in the chat, screeching. He's going to say, you were removed for this. You were removed. Someone's trying to say that I was removed for VPNing. People are just saying fucking random shit. They're like, y you're fucking removed because your, your name starts with T and ends with Ickle Me Pink and you make my pussy itch. Like shit like that. Um, none of this really stands up at all. Obviously, most of you are smart enough to read fucking chat, realize, or read the comments, realize this is a fucking joke. These people are fucking jokes. 
these people just like to give their fucking opinions um but i don't know i don't really have anything else to say guys we're doing the subathon still it's day 29 like i said i'm still giving away this fucking computer guys 4070 ti giveaway and then a computer with a 4900k and 12900k i will pay for it out of my own fucking pocket if jaeger doesn't make it right if Aegon doesn't make it right i will be the one that takes the loss and i i'm not gonna say why oh, we can't do the giveaway more no motherfuckers i said this giveaway would happen and it will happen right i'll take it on the chin that's really all i have to say this is gonna go up on youtube now i love you all i'll see you guys in the subathon make sure you get your 14 days watch time if you want that computer or that graphics card and uh, hopefully we can make a little bit of noise about this situation and uh, get this fixed